What's up you guys? It's me again, your Shazzy and welcome back to my video and to this channel. So I'm back again and again and again and again and again and again, and again for another video you guys. All right, but before we formally start with our lesson, I'm going to answer one of our viewers question. Yes. So, the question is, okay, most Filipino called restroom a CR. So, what's the reason why they use abbreviated notation for that? Yes. So, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for that question and I'm very happy to answer it. All right, so CR is a shorter term for the word comfort room. Yes, comfort room. And this term, okay, we use this term by Filipinos in the Philippines to describe toilet, okay, or bathroom and also referred to the rest room. Yes, and such usage, like, for example, I'm going to the CR, I'll be right back. And it's translated to, I'm going to the restroom, I'll be right back. Okay? Yes. And we use this term for the very long time, like, ever since I was born. Yes, we use this term, CR, if we're going to the restroom. Yes, and it has been widely used in the philippines now by all filipinos right so i think the common reason for that is we are exposed by the term cr than the word restroom or toilet yes but at some point many filipinos use restroom or toilet or bathroom at the same time but there are millions of filipinos who use CR instead of those terms. Okay, I hope I answered your question, whoever asked this question. So that's all I know for now. Yes, so we use CR instead of restroom. Yes, but same meanings, right? Okay, so that's it for the question part. Now, today, let's have the 24th Tagalog lessons. Are you guys ready? Yes. Can you show your thumbs up? Two thumbs up if you're ready. <laughs> yes. I saw that. Mm? <laughs> yes, just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Our 24th lesson for today, guys, is all about the word taga. Yes. The word taga has multiple meanings. Yes, multiple meanings in Tagalog language. But in this lesson, we will only use one definition or one meaning for today's lesson only. So that it will not be something that you will confuse with. Alright? One meaning only. And it means it denotes region. Yes, it denotes someone's origin, where we came from, where we live now or before. So when we say taga, it simply means the place where you live, okay? Where you came from. So that means taga, all right? Yes. So, for example, all right, let's have the first example. Taga. Pilipinas ako. Please repeat after me. Taga Pilipinas ako. Alright. And in English, that means I'm from the Philippines. And for the next example, Taga bundok sila. Please repeat after me. Taga bundok sila. Okay, very good. And in English, that means they're from the mountains. They're from the mountains. 
Now, for the next and last example for today's lesson, this time, I want you to say your place where you live now. Okay? The place where you live now. For example, my place. Taga Cebu ako. Taga Cebu po ako. That means in English, I'm from Cebu. I'm from Cebu. Now, it's your turn. I want you to say your place right now and use the word taga. For example, taga Tokyo po ako. Yes, I believe you have said your place right now. Okay, taga blank ako. Taga Cebu ako. Taga Manila ako. Taga Tokyo ako. Taga Hokkaido ako. Anywhere. Where you are right now. So that means taga. Alright? Do you get it? Alright, so thank you so much for cooperating for this lesson and I hope you learn something from it. So this time, let's have the vocabulary. Yes, alright, so our vocabulary for today is the word cortina. So the word cortina means, wait for a moment, curtain. Okay, this is Curtain. Curtain. Cortina. Okay? Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching in this video and subscribing to this channel. I hope you learned something from it and also please review, review, and review you guys. Okay, so if you like this video, please like comment down below and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos and especially Tagalog lesson. So guys, that's it for today and Shazi needs to say goodbye for now and I'll see you on my next lesson. Bye!